In this video, let me explain important bad habits to avoid while reading non-fiction book. This is Dr. Manjunath. I'm a psychologist and brain performance coach. I help people to read books faster, remember whatever they read, and I'll help them to improve their cognitive fitness strategy. In this video, let me explain five important bad habits you have to avoid while reading non-fiction book. First point. sleeping and reading sleeping and reading is one of the bad habits you have to avoid so i'll tell you why for example let us take uh, you have a different room in your house and each room has designed for some purpose for example if you go to kitchen we design our kitchen to prepare food and keep all the food item in that particular room if you go to bathroom we have designed bathroom to take bath or brush your teeth these are the activity we normally do in bathroom if you go to bedroom we design bedroom to sleep however let us take you are coming and lay down and you will take some books especially non-fiction book when you start reading what happened initially you will read for a few pages later on you feel that i'm getting sleep let me go back to sleep because the bedroom is designed for sleep if you continuously doing this activity for certain days what happened it will become part of your unconscious action as soon as you touch book so what happened your mind will trigger action that you go to sleep many students keep complaining this when i touch book i tend to get sleep why because you have designed you build that unconscious habit within you because you have been practicing this activity since many days this is the serious bad habits sleeping and reading and if you are reading fiction book it's fine still it's fine because fiction books we are reading for entertainment for enjoyment it's fine however if you are reading non fiction books especially knowledge related books you have to be in the right place you have to be in the right position to read so the first bad habits to avoid sleep and reading books Point number two. Point number two. Reading multiple books at a time. So some people, some people had bad habits of reading multiple books at a time. When you start reading multiple books, what happened? You will not be able to capture and implement. Do you know why do we need to read a non-fiction book to capture what is there in the book and apply in our personal, professional, or our relationship to improve? However, if you are doing a multiple books, let us take people read one book, few pages, then they'll close it and they'll take another book, they'll read for a couple of pages and they'll close it, and third book they'll do that. So in that way, you'll not be able to capture concept techniques from that particular book. What happened? So that will again limit yourself to grow much faster. My suggestion here is: first, you take one book, complete that book, and capture the content. principles concept from that book and go and apply once you are comfortable then pick up next book that is what my recommendation action. without taking action after reading books there is no point in reading book it is totally waste of time so that's what my recommendation once you read you need to take action so stop reading multiple books take single book and absorb all the content enjoy that content go and apply and you are ready for the next book so that is my recommendation avoid reading multiple books at a time the next bad habit is reading unrelated books because when you start reading non fiction books you have to pick up a right book right book to read otherwise if when you start reading unrelated books it's waste of time absolutely waste of time for example if your friends your family your colleague if they recommend some books definitely you will get interest interest to buy and read that books yes you will buy that uh, book and after a few chapter you realize yes i'm not interested to continue this book so because it is not related to your domain it's not related to your interest so best option best option here is so once somebody recommended some books what you have to do is first to go and do research understand see the review whether that book is useful for you whether the content in that book is it really helpful for growing your personal and professional journey first you decide if you feel that yes this content is really important for me to grow in my personal in my professional or in my relationship 
go please go and pick up then you'll start reading book so that's what my recommendation do not read unrelated books you need to identify before going to start reading any book next one is a visual distraction some people have a bad habit of sitting in front of tv and reading books or sitting in the crowded place and reading or sitting with a family and friends and talking and reading so what happened this is a serious bad habit and this visual distraction definitely limit yourself to read much faster and or observe the content even a small breaking news in the tv can distract the way you do it because you are focusing straight however your peripheral vision capture those content and distract the way you read so visual distraction please avoid and the next point is a social media this is one of the serious bad habit while reading books please try to avoid all social media including a messages what let us take you will get a small message what you will do you will just take a phone and verify that small message that message there is a link to another website from there another website from there another youtube what happened if you keep moving one website to other website automatically you start wasting time once you come back again you will lose interest in reading so you have to avoid all social media before going to start reading any books right. even if you are reading 10 minutes or 30 minutes it's fine but make sure that you give undivided attention that's what my strong suggestion avoid this social media distraction the final point is regression regression is nothing but you read particular paragraph again again and again why because you feel that yes i am not understanding that particular paragraph you'll go back and read this is one of the unconscious habit most of us we, we developed since childhood because i'll tell you one thing during the childhood our teacher our parents they keep talking about if you want to remember if you want to understand read slow and do repetition just like a for apple a for apple a for apple you'll be able to remember this habit we have been practicing since childhood that is the reason you feel that yes if i read one time i'm not getting let me read once again let me read once again that is the reason you keep reading and this will limit the way you read and you waste a lot of time so you have to avoid regression and don't worry whether you will understand or not when you tune your mind i'll tell you one secret your brain is like a super computer that can process like a rocket speed but only thing is you have to tune you have to rewire your brain no worry about whether i'll understand or not still if you want to reread what you can do is first you complete that particular book and again you can start from the beginning instead of reading just paragraph again and again and again this is one of the serious bad habits you have to avoid that is a regression these are the important bad habits you have to avoid while reading non fiction book because non fiction books are just like a gold mine so when you go and read when you capture those content and apply in your personal and professional journey you can skyrocket your growth so that is the reason you have to focus 100% avoid all this definitely you will see magical transformation we thank you so much for watching my video and if you still thinking yeah i have other bad habits other reading bad habits i need to avoid i need to develop that uh, habit of reading and i need to develop how i can use those concept so we normally conduct there is a powerful uh, workshop called read for success so far i have trained more than 6500 people and they are literally enjoying how to develop habit of reading retention ability how to apply those concept in their personal and professional journey if you want to explore read for success concept please visit my website and you can join and explore power of reading thank you so much this is manjunath psychologist and i'll see you in the next video